Grayson Littleton went to Tampa Wharton his junior year. His junior year highlights transferred to Wiregrass Ranch, I guess, for his senior year. If you want to get at his head coach, that's his Twitter right there. Um, maybe I'll reach out if I have any questions about this kid. He's currently crystal balled to both Michigan and Texas. I think he just got one for Texas. At the end of the day, um, there's going to be a lot of things in the next month that just completely – change you know leading up to signing day as schools are more understanding of you know what their nil resources are going to look like all that kind of stuff how the season ends also is gonna you know if the season ends not great depends <laughs> I, I just cannot speak today as the season ends um you know boosters start committing more money to the nil all that kind of stuff there's a lot of things that can change and it's even more complicated with the nil than it was you know five years ago because it's like a whole nother dimension and you know, money, of course, the money was always there and that kind of stuff, the packages or whatever. But now that, like, it's, like, actually legal, you know, things can change in the, at the drop of a hat. Just makes it all a bit more crazy, I guess. I don't know. I gotta tell you one thing about this kid so far is he's not long. He's been on the shorter end, but I've seen him in a lot of press, and he's real physical. You watch some of these kids just be kind of passive in the press, and you know if you're facing a kid that's got legit track speed, you don't get your hands on him. You know it's three seconds, no safety over the top. You can cover one. The safety's not beating the kid there. You can give up an 80 yard touchdown in three seconds like that, but. You ain't got to be as athletic if you're real physical in that regard. You just knock the kid off his route. Uh, he's got good hips also. You see him kind of match the receiver when he gears down. That happens real easy. Uh, you know, talk about hip fluidity. Long speed looks good so far. Um, like I said, I like the physical aspect of his game, him getting up in their grill and all that. Seen a couple reps where he's been a bit more passive with his hands now, but... another one I think he's got legit track speed uh, you know a lot of times I complain about these kids long speed and with some of these corners you don't get to see it all the time but on these kickoffs I mean he's got like another gear want to see the kind of that explosiveness him coming downhill now uh haven't got to see him a whole lot because he's been impressed this whole time hasn't really had to break on any routes shit it looked good there i mean you just look at his hips uh you know uh, you, they look good there what do you mean Here we go. This is that track speed right there. I might have only give like two kids a six in this whole draft cycle. Or I keep saying that. This whole recruiting cycle, this whole recruiting class, a, a six on the long speed, you know, the higher grade. I'm contemplating giving it to him. I don't want to just because I don't do it often, but I might just do it. Whatever. Go ahead and give him a four on the frame. Um, like he wasn't too tall, but I thought he's pretty well filled out. Uh, five on the burst. I'm gonna give him a five on the long speed. Uh, it's real close to a six. Honestly, I should like this is this is the problem with with me and my stupid brain is I think I've given one kid a six on the long speed. All right, one, two, three. I see Jerome Miles there, but it's like I really don't think he's on the level of this kid's speed. But I. I was contemplating if this kid even a seven, which you know kind of breaks the scale there. Um, you see, I've not given a single corner a six on the long speed, but 
You know what? I'll go ahead and give it to him. A six on the change of direction, easy, I thought. Four on the ball skills. Didn't see it show up a whole lot. Um, Just the nature of the highlight tape that he happened to put together. Uh, wasn't a whole lot of him competing there. But he, he did a good job putting the routes where he didn't get thrown at. Um, and that's really why you saw how good his hips were. Sometimes it doesn't always come up because these kids only put, like, you know, the sexy plays that, you know, you watch on ESPN, that kind of stuff that they that they talk about. But they don't put the the real good-looking plays, but they're just not highlight plays because the ball's not there. Um, so in that regard, I thought we got a good gauge of his hips. And sometimes you just don't see it. Uh, physicality, I'm going to give him a five. I thought he looked real physical in the press to begin with, but towards the end I thought it kind of fell off. Just a little bit. Um, so he's going to actually real high here. Whoa. Do you all like this scale? I don't know. Uh, I feel like people probably just end stop watching the video uh, when I'm when I'm done doing it. Uh, I don't like explain it every time. It's not something I I think of at the end of the day. I, it's just something to objectively compare these players in my head. You know, just so I remember what I thought about them when I watched. So he's actually the highest graded corner I, I've watched. Um, I got to tell you. I really don't think he's the best corner in this class. I think he's a great prospect, don't get me wrong. Like I said, me giving him a six on the long speed kind of skewed the scale here. Um, but that being said, he's a great player. Uh, whoever, Wherever he goes is getting a great great player. Um, like I said, he's he's even crystal ball to Clemson, actually. So it'll be interesting to see where this kid ends up. But, uh, yeah, that was Grayson Little. Any other uh, questions, concerns? comments you have uh you know please feel free to reach out either here on my twitter uh thank you